two grade three students from the study in Montreal were among the youngest of 30 students selected to the science fair of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau in Ottawa. They just returned last week. They join us in a studio. We have Priya Kennedy, Catherine G, and we have their science and tech teacher, Lisa Jacobson. Welcome all of you to the show. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. So that must have been a, a huge privilege. You got to meet the prime minister. Tell me, what, what was that like? Was he nice? What did he say to you? He was nice. Yeah. And what did he say to you? Um, he said the study was one of the best schools. Wow, that's quite the endorsement from the prime minister. Mm -hmm. And so you were there to present your B project. Who wants yeah. to tell me about what the B robot does? Um, so the V, it will turn around uh -huh. and stop because here's the sensor. If you want, you can put your hand here to stop the B. Okay, so we're going to try doing this? Okay. Before the B gets there. Wow. Oh, I touched the B. <laughs> and why did, you, why did you select to do this project? Or Lisa, maybe you want to tell us how this sort of came about. Well, we're part of a, a larger group of competitions called FLL, First Lego League, and they had a junior division that just started in the last few years, and we thought it would be exciting to get all of grade two involved in the project. So last year, the theme was about bees because? They're endangered. Bees are endangered because farmers are putting chemicals on bees and that kills the bees. Mm -hmm. That's right. On the crops. Yeah, that's, so the, go ahead. Go so ahead. That's why we did the project to let people understand how bees are important to us. That's a very interesting project, very mm -hmm. topical as well. I'm so impressed. And they're only eight years old? They're eight, yes. Last year they were, this is the, they did it in grade two, so last year, and they were all pretty much seven years old. I last was year. eight. You were eight, you turned eight, eight during the year. And what was the experience like in Ottawa? Did you get to meet other kids who brought their, their robots to, to the yeah. science fair? You want to tell me about some of the things you saw? Um, there was a robot that shot balls and we got to catch them. It was a lot of fun. Uh huh. So you got to learn, this was obviously at least a very educational experience for them. Yes, absolutely. We also be... learned that there was more than, over than 100 pets that are lost and that can't unite with their family. So there is this team who made a collar, a special collar for the people to find their dogs. That is so their pets. cool. And so the prime minister was very impressed with this one, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so how long did it take you to actually put this together? I'm sure you, you girls were working really hard on this. Mm. Do you know how many Lego pieces it took you to actually assemble all this? Did you count? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> can count when we take it apart. Did, uh, but they Probably worked... a million. A million <laughs> Lego pieces! I oh guess. my goodness! <laughs> so what do, you, what, do you, what do you think they took away from this experience, Lisa? Well, I, th I think it's important for them to understand how robotics can have an impact mm -hmm. on general science kinds of uh, issues. So. Actually, Priya and Catherine are both thinking a little bit about how robotics can help us in our world. I know that, Catherine, you were talking to your mom a little bit about that as well, about how you think robots can help people. You want to tell us what you told your mom? I told my mom that uh, robots could help people mm -hmm. by, like, if there was polices, polices job are really dangerous and if we had a robot then that would help the polices their lives won't be at risk mm -hmm. and it, it's not like if a person dies it's losing a person mm -hmm. but if a robot gets destroyed you could still rebuild it mm -hmm. And yeah. she's only in grade three. Yeah. I am so impressed by you girls. Congratulations. It's such a huge honor that you got to go to Ottawa. And I know this is, it's just the beginning for you. Can't wait to see what you do next. And congratulations to you as well, Lisa, Thank to uh, the study for, for, for developing these young talents. Congratulations.